Okay. This is the 23rd Psalm uh, on a blanket that was given to our family, uh, I believe, at the death of Granny, uh, Jean Holiday Roof, my uh, Granny, my grandmother. And it has uh, on it the 23rd Psalm with a picture of Jesus over here holding some sheep, some sheep uh, on his feet, and some sheep down here. And I want to uh, read it to you and talk about it and so you can better understand what the 23rd Psalm is all about. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now that's what it says. Now let me, let me explain to you the best I can. I'll start up here at the top. The Lord is my shepherd. That means he's the one that's going to take care of me. I shall not want. Now, as a child, I didn't always understand the part that says, I shall not want. I thought, if he's a shepherd, why, why wouldn't you want him? But as an adult, or as a young adult, and then later as an adult, I've come to understand that sometimes, as we as sheep, don't always want someone watching over us doing what we need to be doing. So, that's the part where it comes into the, uh, I shall not want. Uh, we need him. But we don't always want him, because we want to do things on our own. Um, and it's good that we have him as a shepherd. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leaveth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. That means he's going to take care of our soul. He leaveth me in the path of righteousness. Jesus Christ is the ultimate example of righteousness and how to live your life, for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That means when we're, when we're going through life, trying to do his will, and trying to live a good Christian life, he's going to be beside us. Because, for thou art with me. He's with me. He's, as long as we continue to love him and do him, he's, always, he's never going to leave us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Um, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. That means he's going to take care of us and it's, the, the blessings are going to overflow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's a very important part. The fact that if we follow Jesus and accept his teachings, when this physical life is over, we're going to be able to dwell with him in the house of God forever. And that's very important. And... Uh, as a Christian, it's always important to remember this, that, you know, we're going to have trials and sufferings in our life, but God is always going to be there watching us, protecting us, and uh, in the end, if we follow and do His work, He's going to take care of us. Uh, because it says, I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So there you, uh, there you have it, the Psalms 23 blanket. Uh, it's a nice little gift that was given to my family upon the death of my uh, granny, uh, Jean Helday Roof, who was a Christian woman, and then raised my dad and my uncle, uh, along with my grandfather, uh, going to church uh, in the small town of Franklin, Indiana. And this is uh, a, a reminder of her and her life, as well as, more importantly, 
bringing glory and honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and being able to share that with other people. So that's why I really like it. Uh, it's very nice. It's very neat. And I just want to share that little, make a little video of sharing you uh, a little bit about my faith uh, and the, the plan that Jesus Christ has for your life. And, and his uh, how Jesus, even Jesus, served God the Father and how we have hope that springs eternal through, through Him as our Lord and Savior.